Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Lauren. And this feels a little strange because I haven't been over with you guys for a little while. But I thought I'd have a little bit of a chat about what's happening for me in my life as well as um, scrapping wise and also um, whilst I haven't been scrapbooking for a little while I have been shopping. I think there are times where we need to take a little creative break or, and life sometimes throws uh, curveballs our way but um, I guess that has doesn't stop our fingers from doing the shopping um, but I'm feeling like I want to get back to the old me and start creating again and I thought I would start by saying a big hello, thank you for all the people out there who've been sending me lovely messages letting me know that they've missed my videos that you, you have no idea how lovely it is to receive a message like that um, but yeah I'm just going to take it steady and I'm going to put a video up here and there and I thought I'd start and share with you a little of my shopping that I've been doing so this little pile there's a few other piles there and there <laughs> But this one is sort of like the odds and ends pile. Um, and so I thought, yeah, I'm going to share my little shopping haul with you guys as my introduction back into the world of YouTube and um, an introduction back into the world of creativity after my little, my little breather, my little break. Yeah. So here, I one of the... Sh online stores that I shop at had a spontaneous 50% off sale and I couldn't help but grab these gorgeous little tiny Heidi Swap staplers. Now, staples, sorry, they're pink and black. How gorgeous is that? And it fits in this tiny little super sweet stapler right here. So I've got the silver and now I've got it pink and the black staples to add to that collection. I thought, well, who can who would not want to love coloured staples? So there's those. Um, I picked up some of these gorgeous little uh, Nemel gummy bear stickers with this little confetti around. I thought this will make a super sweet little layout, maybe on a white background, um, some really great colourful or even really black and white photos of my gorgeous little girls face all full of expression and I thought I will definitely have some ideas for those already. Picked up some of these super sweet Amy Tangerine enamel stickers. How great are those hearts? I love using hearts in my Project Life album so these are going to come in handy and look at that colour palette. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm not sure what collection that's from. I'm being a bit out of the loop. Um, the new Paige Evans collection called I think it's scenic yep this go the scenic route I picked up just the florals there um, I've got some of the papers that I'll share with you in a minute but that little florals pack there makes for a super sweet easy layout and I thought that's what I need at the moment when I'm coming back into well when my mojo is starting to reappear I am crepe paper kills me with these puffy stickers I have to have every set most of the time I order two sets <laughs> But guys can't get over them. They're just absolutely gorgeous and tiny and sweet. And every collection they bring out this gorgeous little pack um, that coordinates with each collection. And when I saw the Hey Santa ones, well, I couldn't resist and I had to pick them up. But they're tiny and delightful and perfect for pocket style scrapbooking. But perfect to, to adding those tiny little details um, on your layouts there so really cute there so that's from the Hey Santa I did a little bit of shopping at Kmart the other day and I found these gorgeous clear stickers they're in the their planner section um, but there's four sheets there huge amount and I thought this is some, these letters are really great for project life but they're also really great for adding that secondary title onto your layout just if you wanted a small word or a bit of journaling so I grabbed two packs of those so I knew that if I wanted to do a quote or something a little bit bigger I'd have enough and they were cheap as chips look upper lowers and numbers 
So two sheets of the lowers, one sheet of the upper and one sheet of numbers for those dates. So that's really good. In Kmart I also scored this stencil pack. They, uh, they appear about 8 by 8, 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres. But I thought, look at this for a little pack. I'm, I'm a big fan of the leopard and the cheetah at the moment, so I thought I'd have fun with that one. But how sweet is this love heart? And it's a big enough size to be able to do a section on the centre of your layout. Sometimes I find with the 6x6 six six layouts, like size ones, I put a bit there and then I've got to move it, the stencil over there, but then I'm worried I'm going to mush that with that side of the stencil, the stencil work I've already done. So this sort of 8x8 eight eight size is really perfect for my kind of scrapbooking where I do a bit of mixed media and it's usually around that size and I can put the whole template down and and just sort of control where I want it to go without having to reapply the stencil in other spots there. So there's that one. And here's like a really gorgeous mermaid tail. Once again, that good size. And, well, it's, I guess, what, what do they call this pattern? A shell? I don't know. You're seeing this in a lot of Renault shows at the moment, like backsplashes in laundries and showers. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have fun with that. Maybe a nice ombre with some sprays. Um, so yeah, it's nice to sit here and feel the ideas coming as I'm talking to you um, about what I want to do with my new goodies. I also noticed that the gorgeous Heidi Swap is um, doing a planner. I think you subscribe like $10 a month or something. I haven't looked into it, so don't quote me on it. Um, and she sort of does a planner class. Now, I've really struggled with planning and documenting life in this format. But Heidi sort of, I thought this might be a really great way of, you know, just delighting in life, looking for, um, looking for, you know, practicing a little bit of mindfulness each day, trying to be conscious about looking out for things that I'm grateful for and maybe taking a photo here and there but also documenting that. So I picked up this three pack of planner inserts. Um, so it's got this nice wash and it's sort of got a well year overview, a month overview and then it's sort of got this format here. I love working in a month format. This is this is how I work. I, I don't think I can work in a daily format. So I really like this one. This one really good for planning out when my um, design team projects are due and when I decide to put on a craft weekend that I do locally here. So that's a really good one for that. Um, this sweet lemon in sort of a watercolour finish there. Um, this is the day by day. This is the one that I probably struggle with the most. So I'm not sure where I'll go with it, that one. And maybe Heidi can help me out with that one. Um, and this one here is another one of that. So I'm just going to I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm going to subscribe for a couple of months and see how I go. And if the mojo kicks in, um, I'm going to go from there. So there's those gorgeous three planner planners there. Um, how gorgeous is this? Now this is not really a scrappy thing. This is sort of like a notebook but it was stunning my sister and I and some of the kids went down to Sydney for a weekend and we always stop in at the gorgeous multi-level Dimmick store in George Street and when I saw this I thought this needs to be in my space um, and I know it's kind of a bit luxurious to write your everyday notes down on something like this what well, feels luxurious and I guess that's probably nice um, and then, but yeah, I just thought I'm just going to use this and just enjoy writing my to-do list, my, um, just getting my head, the week on, down on paper so I can get my head right and be able to sort of like cope with the week. And I'm a list person, so I like to tick lists off when things are, you know, super busy, um, super busy in my life. If I write a list, all of a sudden I feel a little bit grounded. So... Yep, yeah, so this gorgeous double-sided note paper here. You could definitely scrapbook it, like use some of it for scrapbooking, but I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to use it for everyday stuff. 
Um, so these are just some papers that I picked up, some odds and ends that I just thought I'd need to have in my collection. I picked up this gold sheet and I thought I'm just going to use my punch and punch out some hearts and stars and things like that with that one. Um, so I'm going to end up just maybe making some my own embellishments, like just sort of making some little layered up embellishments to use on my pages. Um, and so I thought it might be nice to pick that up. It's like a nice matte finish. It doesn't come off in your hands. And so I thought, yeah, that's that's really lovely. I picked up this one. Um, it's a 49 and market. And it's called Bold and Beautiful. And I thought I might do a layout of my beautiful mother on there. Um, and probably add some more fussy cut flowers and things like that. But I just, when I saw that, I thought of my mum. And I thought I'm going to have to pick that one up there. How gorgeous is the back of that one? It's beautiful. I picked up some of the Sweet Story papers and honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but how cute is that dog? Like, <laughs> seriously. That, I thought that had, just has to be in my, <laughs> my collection even if I don't use it. But this gorgeous little puppy on the reverse side is just that yellow. Um, I thought just playing around with these colours, that's a nice neutral background with some accents. Here's a blue kind of blueberries, but I thought I could fussy cut maybe a, some titles out of that and then maybe also fussy cut some of these flowers. So as you can see right there I could probably just do a layout, um, adding a bit of mixed media maybe, um, doing some fussy cutting and I've sort of got a layout that's sort of really easy just with three pieces of paper there so as you can see that's good there I thought I can do some fussy cutting with that one and have some gorgeous coordinating scalloped edges so that's from the Sweet Story collection I picked up this one from Vicky Booten Let's Wander and I thought I think I might just make like a little mini book or something with that I just really loved the really pop you know the the, I guess the the mix of the real with the creative, the photos, um, if you if you know what I mean by that, just they they're sort of modified photographs, like real photographs, and I thought this might be a really fun sort of mini book um, to to do um, maybe if we go away for a, a weekend with the girls or something along those lines, and I thought I'm just going to cut those out and make something sweet with that, so it jumped out at me. The page Evans. Here's, I've just got a few bits of this collection. Um, yeah, I've just, I, I, it's so sweet and pretty. I thought with Katie, I have to sort of get it, like. And I got bits for her as well. This is Katie's favourite colour, so I ended up picking up an extra set for her, so that we could probably sit down together and scrapbook, scrapbook a couple of pages together and knowing that she would love this collection and how beautiful is that one and we can share the goodies and do some fussy cut of the birdies and have some florals there um, I thought that would just be a nice time with Katie and I um, this is from the Pink Paisley Lucky Us collection I just saw this and I hadn't seen it before and I thought that is so cute and it's going to make a nice easy layout as a background piece um, with probably like a real pop of like maybe black and white photos like so I don't we don't lose the lose her in the photos but as you can see if I laid those up I can use a strong pattern background and you know it still comes together really nicely so I love black and white now I heard I don't know if this is true you could probably tell me in the comments but there's not going to be any more Dear Lizzie collections. That's the rumour going round. I haven't looked into it. That freaked me out. <laughs> that freaked me out. And I went on and the Dear Lizzie collection that won my heart is the She's Magic collection. So I kind of just tried to get as much as I can. It is all sold out. I figured everyone heard what I heard and went and snavelled it and but I ended up getting a few other bits and pieces and I'm just thankful that I have some of that other collection there um, so I picked up these two as well I'm yeah I'm really sad about that because um, I think dear Lizzie's earlier collections weren't really for me but her latest collections I've 
you know, I guess that's probably just me evolving and what I like's changing. Um, but her latest collections have just been absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, tell me, can you tell me in the comments below if you guys know what's going on there or whether it's just a rumour and it's not happening? I don't know. So, the other little bit, this is the Hey Santa collection and I just picked up three pieces there um, to create a layout. Um, I just love the pink and the red and the different shades of the green there. So I picked that one up and I thought this could be my base page. And these could be my embellishments and just use them for layering. And as you can see, without too much, I'll use some black puffy stickers for my title, black or red. Um, and then with a few embellishments, I've got a really easy layout there just using three pieces of paper. The other collection I picked a couple of pieces up from is the Coco Vanilla Daydream collection. I just love the colours and the the titles. These are a few of my favourite things. Good times, a happy place. It feels like a cuddle. I don't know if that sounds weird, uh, but it, I just think it's really sweet and the colours are beautiful. So I picked up the cut apart sheet, um, this beautiful floral that I'll fussy cut and this gorgeous wreath that I thought I'll fussy cut as well and the back sides of those are just as beautiful again look at that delightful little floral there and this fun scallop in the peach and just a grey and white polka dot there so I really love those uh, this I missed the boat with Heidi's Wolfpack collection and I only kind of I'm so sad about it because I have boys, I have big boys and I have boys that love to ride um, mountain bike in the bush and so I'm disappointed that I've completely missed the boat on Wolfpack um, but I managed to pick up a few pieces of paper from a local online store which I thought I'm just going to work with it, I'm just going to you know, go with the disappointment. I can't have every collection, but I was a bit sad because my boys. This really resonated with my boys, um, and it's absolute. It's even more stunning in real life. So, yeah, this is the Wolfback collection. This piece is called Over the Moon, and it's just a night on the back. It's just a nice classic grid, good for a background. I was thankful for this one because I could fussy cut it out. Um, and use it for layering, having the diff like a bit of each of the collection in there and that gorgeous check on the back. How stunning is this? I just, I want to go on a holiday to the mountains. So this feels like I'm going on a bit of a holiday there. And look at that. How stunning is that? And the last one I got was this one, which is just some fern leaves there and just this background on grungy background piece there that I thought would be good for the boys so they're the bits and bobs that I picked up um, I think we might I might move on to the few mixed media pieces that I picked up um, I grabbed some of the Dina Wakely gloss sprays now I know this isn't new but um, I I've got sprays coming out my ears but I want to know what gloss did so I'll let you know I'm going to use these in some layouts coming up uh, and let you know whether the gloss is fabulous or whether it's just like any other spray <laughs> I don't know but I thought I'm going to get a couple of those I tried to get a turquoise one too but I couldn't they were out of stock of that color there so I got those I also picked up some acrylic paint these are J um, what's it say um, charismatic paints by um, Jane Davenport and I think they're a matte, matte acrylic paint so I thought this this might be fun it's actually a quite a big bottle so um, yeah so I picked up that gorgeous sort of peachy color there which is called I don't know ancient ancient pages this one's called and then I grabbed this one here, which is that turquoisey colour that I love, um, called Minty Fresh. There, so I'll let you know how those go. I also grabbed one of these things, which is, uh, it's called a um, Velvet Pastel. So I thought, oh my gosh, it, that's 
it was eleven ninety five. So I thought these were ten ninety five, and look at the amount I could have get there. So I won. I, won, I, I put it in the cart because you know I'm I'm in that mood where I'm buying things. Um, but it, what it says, it applied a tiny dab of this intensely pigmented creamy gel to your artwork and spread with your finger or batten blenders. A little goes a long way. It dries down to a divine ultra matte waterproof and velvety finish. So I thought that seems sounds like a little bottle of gold right there. And it's kind of got this sort of lipstick applicator. Hmm. So I'll let you know how that goes. As you can see, oh, it smells nice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh definitely you want to put it on your lips. <laughs> my goodness. That's delightful. Okay. Uh, of course, the lovely Jane Davenport would make things that look pretty, smell pretty, and... <laughs> That's gorgeous. Okay, so as you can see, that's a gorgeous sort of colour palette there. And who knows? I might even pull out my art journal and make something in my art journal for you guys using all those yummy things. So that is the uh, mixed media kind of purchases that I made in my shopping. Um, I also picked up Katie and I are uh, wanting to have some fun with um, 6 by 8 size albums. We've got some 6 by 8 paper pads that we want to do some scrapbooking with. So I thought we would, um, I was having trouble getting some 6 by 8 albums in the colours that she loves because this is her favourite colour and she likes this peachy pink cones too. So, um, but I did find these online. So I've got trying out these little snap flip books that apparently expand like really big so I've got some refills there and yeah we're going to have have some fun and give those a go um, I also did a bit of a purchase of some fangirl merch <laughs> um, so if you haven't heard of Adele Toomey who on YouTube is Inky Quill and Let's Get Inky she has merch. Her scrapbooking Facebook group is called Scrapaholics Anonymous. And I just picked up this gorgeous tote which says Scrapaholics Anonymous on our way to recovery. Just kidding. We're on our way to the craft shop. <laughs> so I thought that was really sweet and fun. And I also picked up, also picked up just a, um, like a pouch that you can put things in like there it's a really big size as you, look I can just put so much in here look at look still going look I can still fit heaps more so I just absolutely thought I've got to these are great so yeah that's I picked that one up I love it even more I also grabbed a little journal um, which ha is lined, so I thought it's a, it's just for me to write in and have in my handbag and do whatever. But I love this little um, quote here, which says procrastinating. Well, it's a definition: procrastinating, the act of avoiding all adult responsibility by burying burying yourself in various craft projects. Procrastinating. <laughs> I love that. Um, so. Yeah, a nice little fun notebook for me to enjoy. And I also ordered a shirt, which hasn't come yet, actually. I'm thinking now I better follow that up because I ordered them a long, long time ago. So um, I'll follow that up. So that's my little fangirl merch going on there. Um, all right. Heidi Swap's done it again. Old school is absolutely I just had to have it because it's that mix I can do I can scrapbook my girls I can scrapbook my boys I can scrapbook my friends and adults in my life the colors are stunning um, so I had to pretty much get it all <laughs> so I picked up the 12 by 12 paper pad here let me oh dear, this is this is 
it's not going to end well if I if I use scissors. So let's not do that. Some people ask me why I have talcum powder in my office, and I use talcum powder for actually lots of things, but mainly like you know when you get that excess adhesive on from your paper pads. I just sprinkle a bit of talcum powder on there, and all of a sudden that adhesive is no longer an issue so this is old school but here's a snapshot of it how beautiful is that it is just gorgeous so this tiger the uh, the great thing about the 12 by 12 paper pad is you get two of each sheet they're not double sided um, which saves that like horrible feeling of which side do I use, the A side or the B side <laughs> so you get two of each sheet, two of each of the collection and you don't have to worry about the reverse side because it's just white and you can just use it straight out so this gorgeous tiger here, I'm just going to flick through quickly so you can just take it all in That oh, yum yum yum, I'm taking it in with you, see Perfect mix of boy and girl, holiday, um, adult, um, absolutely gorgeous. A little lightning bolts. Tie dye, which is in thing at the moment. <laughs> You're one of a kind. How gorgeous is that? I just want to take a holiday looking at it. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Lots of fun with that photographic kind of distortion print. Beautiful florals. A great cut apart sheet, how cute is this? Good vibes. I'm gonna make a very beautiful life for myself no for myself no matter what it takes. There's no time to be bored in a world as beautiful as this. Together. Happy no advent new adventures await. So how good. Oh yummy. Look at that. Portrait film like I used to be a Kodak girl. I used to work in a photographic lab and film was my thing, so I love this. Yum, yum, yum. There we go. Look, we're back to the beginning now. So, absolutely gorgeous. So, in that collection, I also picked up the 6x8 paper pad because I love layering up and using different, um, you know, different pa papers behind my photos and things like that. I also picked up the cardstock stickers which have some foiled components, but I love this scripty font, good vibes. The little stamps up the top, late nights, hello, the floral, you and me, rad, good vibes. My piece of paradise, my happy place. And Heidi's always wonderful, giving us lots of these, which are really great for pocket-style scrapbooking and adding those little bits of journaling um, in your pocket each individual pocket just when you want to write down a little thought or feeling or something that was said um, a fabulous little stamp set that has you get two you get the solid and then you get the um, the pattern which you, you can either layer up over the top so therefore you could say have a blue solid and then use the black ink over it so you'd have the blue through it there, so you're really getting two stamp sets there, or you can just stamp that straight onto whatever colour card stock you wanted to do it, fussy cut it out, or straight onto your your layout. Um, yeah, so there's that one. This one here is the, um, some stickers and their quotes and just sayings and things like that, um, but absolutely gorgeous. You get 58 pieces in that one, and you get a white and a black set there. So I'll just show you those. Oh, it's not black, sorry. I thought it was, I thought it was, oh dear. These are great just for adding a little bit of detail to your cluster, photo clusters and things like that. And a really nice little font there. Replace fear of the unknown with curiosity. Embrace your story, you're the best. Daydreaming, connect, imagination, remember, believe in yourself. Start each day with a grateful heart. I'm going to practice a little bit more of that one. Um, so there's those. Um, Heidi also brought out another stamp set in this collection and this is a whole lot of fun. It's got that gorgeous tiger there. It's got a wave. It's got a fern. Enjoy the now. Some palms there. Love you. Some florals that you could layer up and, um, you know, 
all your clever stampers out there can do magical things with those. So there they are there. Absolutely beautiful. And this is really versatile. You can use all your different coloured inks and then fussy cut them out. So you've got lots of labels. Um, this is the tag kit. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a big tag girl, but I love layers on my um, layouts, and so hiding a tag here and there. Um, so you get an olive and a real bright peachy cord. It's not cotton. It's like cord. It's shiny and really smooth and lovely. And then here's all the little tags. Beautiful for a bit of journaling. Oh, that's cute. Time to chill. Captured in this moment. Love you. Oh, there's the film one. Gorgeous floral. Pinky. So, yeah, so a great little set there. And they're really thick. Like, they're really good quality. So, a nice little set there. How many pieces do you get in that one? 14 tags. So, if you're a like to um, package up beautiful gifts you could even use one of the papers as wrapping paper and then using a tag would look lovely finished off there I also got the sticker book which has 312 stickers in it so let's have a look at that one here I go again okay 312 that sounds like a lot which is perfect for when we're doing pocket style project life. My 2020 project life album's in a 9 by 12 inch this year and I do a layout here and there through it with my pocket style pages so I can scrap a couple of layouts and then coordinate the rest of the event in the same um, in the same collection which sort of brings it all together. Um, I'm just going to flick through those work, play hard, cool, that's gorgeous, that's that stamp set, this is where the fun stuff happens, photo corners, small ones and big ones, some, what do they call that, holographic, uh, these are clear, beautiful florals, some stars, some cute cameras, the tigers, so once again with my clear stickers when I want them to be ephemera I just stick them onto some white cardstock and fussy cut them out and then I've got some ephemera pieces. Oh these are gorgeous, once again these are clear, bit, bit plannery, who, what, where, when you could add there. Cute font in that beautiful, beautiful sort of minty tealy colour. Um, some more tags, super useful. Life is better when you're. And some scripty titles with in clear, good vibes, live in the moment, the story, just have fun, yeah, yeah, right on. Late nights, best friends, cup ADM, chill out, be you. And these are so useful. Just those little bits, and they're clear as well. So once again, if you don't want them clear, you can stick them onto your white card stock and fussy cut them out. You've got some more ephemera. Speaking of ephemera, this is the ephemera pack and by the looks of it these are super tiny which we don't usually get tiny embellishments anymore which I miss so much so I'm so glad. I'm looking at that little bag and it's got lots of tiny pieces in there. I'll show you the back. 94 pieces and here they are lots of florals, lots of tags, really cute. So I'll just quickly show you, here we go, lots in here. Little banner, I might go from this way up, how's that? Florals, some of these are vellum pieces. These, these are really cute. They're a little ombre spot, if you can see that. Some kind of wonderful... For today's agenda, fun times, be kind. Some palms. These are vel lots of vellum. Tags. Beautiful floral. Yeah, yeah. 
best friends. Love you. What a time to be alive. Kiss cuddle. Slow down, appreciate the good things. Another floral. What's this one? Live in the moment. The best time for new beginnings is now. Carpe diem. Oh, these are cute. Look at these. Now we're moving out of the vellum. Gorgeous frame. Oh, yummy. Good little journaling cards. Look at that. Good for layering. Love the film. Oh, love it. Wherever you are, well, wherever you are, be all there. Be present. Okay. Shine on. Florals. Oh. More florals. And what is that one? Enjoy the now. Love. Look, that one's got a bit of foiling on it in true Heidi style. A bit of foil. Fearless. This is life. Oh, tags and florals. Admit one. Chill out. That's cute. More florals. And what's under there? Oh, the little the tiger. And some ticket. I love the tickets. They're cute. Look at them. And then in the little itty bitty pack. Oh gosh. This is so cute. I'm going to make a little bit trick. Oh, we've got photo corners in here. I don't know. Can you see these? You are loved. Let's just flip some of these over. They're super tiny and super sweet. And it looks like a mix of vellum. Lots of tags. Some are foiled. So rad. Happy. The Heidi Swap corners. She loves the corners. Some arrows. I love you. Look at that awesome. Photo tabs. Love these. So there. So what a great little little bundle there. So yum, yum, yum. So that is the Heidi Swap Old School that I picked up. Now I'm just going to move that because the lucky last collection that I have picked up is by Crepe Paper and it's the Fresh Bouquet Collection. I, I, just, I love Crepe Paper. Everything that they do I just fall in love with. I've, I've ordered the Maggie Holmes Magnolia Collection too. I've just got to stop buying because I went on a buying rampage as you can see and now I've got to have time to scrapbook it all. So yeah, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So here are the papers that I picked up. This beautiful cut apart sheet. I thought I was going to fussy cut them out. And that's some more ephemera. How stunning is this one? I got two of that one. Couldn't resist. This one here is a good background page. And like, as you can see, look at this. If I do this and this, those three you've got to lay out right there. Look at that. So, couldn't resist. Uh, this one's gorgeous as well. It's got the Sunday to Saturday thing. It's on the reverse of the cutter parts. This one here I thought was a good background piece. It came injured, but I thought I'd just put some embellishments over that. Um, and great for fussy cutting. Got two of that one. And I thought I love this one as well. So I'm not really sure what I'll do with that one. It's probably a fussy cutting number as well. But they are the papers that I got in the crepe paper. Fresh Bouquet Collection. I also picked up, um, these are the chipboard stickers and they are stunning. Look, um, the store that I bought them for, I don't know why, but there was a big cross through it, I think because it's the print's off, but I just contacted them and obviously it just didn't get chucked out when it was being scanned, see how the print's off, but they were fabulous and just sent me a new pack straight away. Um, so that's those. I also got the 6x8 paper pad because Beautiful's um, Crepe Paper does the foiling on the specialty 6x8 paper pad. So look at that. And it also allows me to have the full collection because I like to layer it up and use bits of pieces that coordinate well. So by me getting the 6x8 paper pad I, I know that I can do that. And if you've been a long time follower of Lauren Usually mixed media is involved and I like to do my own background. So just the 6x8 paper pads are often all that I need. 
I also picked up two of the um, cardstock sticker sheets because I absolutely love their cardstock sticker sheets. Um, I, pretty much every collection I'll get two of these because I just I don't want to be held back when using them. I don't want to think I'll hoard them. So if I get two, I feel like I've got a bit of free reign there just to stick things down and just go for it. So I've got two of those as well. And I picked up the ephemera pack. Um, once again, this see how see what I mean about the ephemera being really big. Um, so we've got it's nice in that Heidi Swap collection, the old school to finally have some little pieces which is my kind of scrapbooking when there's little intricate little details hiding here and there. Um, so, yeah, so these, these obviously I'm not going to complain because these are just delightful, but um, I do like the... Um, how am I going to show you this one? I might just slide these over here. All right, so, so we've got some acetate in this one. Not vellum. Look at these big gorgeous butterflies. So you can see by doing some layering we've got a title forever, the little things you do, some journaling pieces, gorgeous large tickets, there, florals, a little banner, how cute is that, life is in bloom, a camera, some books, oh that's gorgeous, uh, grateful, these are the days I'll remember forever, we sure will won't we, it's a crazy time in the world, celebrate, heartfelt, and then we'll just go into the bigger pieces, so, look at that gorgeous frame there, big floral, Gorgeous cute tag and here's some bigger ones, some more acetate, another cute tag, I love that paper, gorgeous tag to add to journaling on, another one, cute tag, what's this one, to love laughter and happily ever after, very cute, little more tags. Cute camera. Another tag, a frame. It says beautiful. How cute's the font? Another big floral. A gorgeous birdie. And look at this last but not least large acetate there. So that is the beautiful crepe paper fresh bouquet collection. Alright guys, thank you for checking in. Um, it's it's, I am really happy I've got some mojo back. So hang in there. I hope your mojo is looking after you in these crazy times. And I'll be back soon with a process video for you. Alright, take care. Happy scrubbing. Bye.